It is Thanksgiving weekend, our first one as a family. Peace each. Cashew knows what's up. This is like her third one. <laughs> uh, we are starting the vlog out going for a morning family hike in the forest. And apparently a lot of people have the same idea because there's uh, a lot of cars out right now. But it doesn't look like, it's a little rainy. It must have rained last night. Mm. Did it rain last night? Mm. It must have. I didn't even hear it but the sun is supposed to come out today, so we shouldn't get rained on. But yeah, we're gonna go for a walk, get some fresh air. Hopefully Sage enjoys it and doesn't freak out halfway through. Hi. Hi, you want more? Cashew, relax, she knows where she is. Oh, you're all bundled up. You so sleepy? Okay. You sleepy? Wait. We are back home. I just got Sage down for her nap. Matt's unloading the dishes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make breakfast and then I actually, my contribution to today's Thanksgiving dinner is a butternut squash soup. Although I'm gonna do like a mixture of acorn squash and butternut squash to mix it up. So that is my plan. I think I even have a recipe on my blog. So I'm gonna do something very similar to that. I'll link it down below, but I'm going to just get that stuff out of the way first and then I'll get myself ready because I want to try and squeeze in some family photos before we head to my mom's. So if Chloe gets a second to step away, I'm going to ask, they live down the road. So I'm just going to be like, can you come over and snap a family photo of us? Cause it's Sage's first Thanksgiving. So it'll be nice to, just to get that memory. Okay, I kind of look like a mess, but I already showered and stuff today. So I'm just going to like stay in like comfy clothes while I get the food out of the way. for breakfast to be done, so Matt just made some cinnamon bagel, cinnamon raisin bagels with cream cheese. You can analyze to see which one have more cream cheese on it. The next thing I'm gonna start prepping is the squash soup that I'm gonna bring over to my mom's for dinner tonight. So I have a butternut squash and an acorn squash, so I'm just going to actually slice them down the middle and let them roast in halves. I find it's just easier than like trying to peel them and stuff, and then once they're all soft and roasted, you can just scoop it out. So it's just an easier way to do it. 
get a sharp knife and uh, try not to cut yourself. You know, just go slow. Ta-da! Okay, one down. Another to go. So I'm gonna save the seeds and we'll see if I end up roasting them as a little like soup topper. That might be a little extra, but I'm just keeping the acorn squash ones. So I have my eggs cracked in with a little salt and pepper. I also added in the sausages. I did both cut up and just left alone just to see how they do. I'm gonna pop them into the oven to cook. Whoa, it's hot. Oh yes, this turned out so good. Okay, I thought the eggs were gonna take longer to cook, but I think it, they only took 10 minutes minus three and a half, six and a half, right? Six and a half minutes. If that isn't Thanksgiving breakfast, I don't know what is. Oh. Yeah, so next time I'll definitely cook the eggs a little less so they're runny. But I think a good first attempt to this recipe. All right, I just got my hair and makeup done. I'm actually gonna close this door because there's music on. I don't have lipstick on, I look really pale. Anyways, I just curled my hair, did my makeup. I'm going to figure out what I'm gonna wear. I just wanna be ready and that way I'll get the soup done, we'll take some family photos and then we'll be ready to go to my mom's. Yeah, I definitely need some lipstick, I look a little ghostly. I'm thinking of wearing this really cute cream sweater, these little detailing on the arm. I actually got it from Levi's and yeah, it's so cute. So I'm like, this is comfy and cozy and I'm going to be eating a lot of food. I don't want anything that's like uncomfortable. So this is good. And then I need some pants. I might do these. Option two. These are just some like trousers or, or the plaid shorts. I feel like these are too Christmassy still. I don't know. Oh wait, I have a third. Or fourth. This, this like burgundy corduroy skirt. I don't know if you can see. It's a little, little bit of dust on it. But this one is from Banana Republic. Cute as well. Probably gonna go with option number one. Yeah, so I'm thinking these are good. They got a stretchy waistband, which is essential for Thanksgiving dinner. And I think I'm just gonna keep this on for now because if I change into the cream sweater, I'm most likely gonna get some food on it because I'm still recipe testing, or not, I'm recipe making the squash soup. So that's all out of the oven. I think I'm gonna go mix that up. I just want to get the hair and makeup out of the way so that way, like, I'm not still having to get ready. That always stresses me out if I'm not ready and then I feel like I have to do my makeup really quick and then I don't like it and yeah, so. Sage is having her lunch. What are you having, Sage? Got some sweet potato, peas, and some wild salmon. It's a lot of food. Oh, she's gonna eat it all. This girl can eat. I also roasted some garlic. 
Mm, if you've never had roasted garlic, it's like a garlic butter. It's so good. And then I already started doing this, but it's cooled down so I can handle it. But the nice thing about doing it this way is you can just scoop out the meat really easily. You don't have to like peel and chop everything. Same thing with the acorn squash. It just all comes out and it's just easy to, to take the meat out. Okay, so we're gonna saute the onion. Get that going and then I'll add in the squash, the garlic, my broth. I'm just using some vegetable low sodium broth because I'm not making some from scratch. And then I am gonna add a little bit of maple syrup for sweetness and a touch of cinnamon and maybe uh, coconut milk too. I gotta grab some of that. Definitely need salt. Yeah, this one tastes a lot better. I added in a little more cinnamon, maple syrup, salt, and cayenne pepper. It's perfect. Just gonna put that on low while we finish getting ready. We're gonna get sage and cashew ready. Yes, cashew also has a little Thanksgiving outfit. We have a little bandana for her I like to put on. And then just making sure we got the diaper bag packed. I think we're gonna walk over, so I'm gonna have to figure out how we transport the soup. We can just put it underneath the stroller, but I need to know like what to put it in. And then I can put my sweater on once I'm done all that, because if I put it on now, I will definitely get it stained. Also, the sun is coming out. It's, it just feels so dark in the kitchen today. It's just because it's very cloudy out. Okay, I'm gonna put the stuff away too in the kitchen so we can, we can come back. Why can't I talk today? Oh. I'm just gonna go get ready. So I just took this off the stove so it can start cooling. And then I did end up roasting the acorn squash seeds in just a little avocado oil, salt, pepper, and cinnamon. Let's show them your outfit. She's got this little overall set. Oh, it's kind of getting overexposed. With a little pop, pop in, poplin, I don't know what you call it. Collar. Can you see? There you go. Nice if I showed them your outfit. I did get her like a mustard corduroy overall dress thing. Yeah. Um, but it was too big, so. Um, this is from Zara, and then this little t-shirt is Baby Gap. Also, I think the pants is easier for her to crawl around in. I feel like a dress when a baby's crawling is just not practical. Hi, say hi, CZ. Say hi. Where's Dada? Where's Dada? He's behind you, right there. Oh. Say hi, it's my first Thanksgiving and this is my elf. Wow, the collar does keep popping. Okay, we're gonna go give her milk. <laughs> she just wanted to climb me, I don't know. Yeah. Whoa. She's a little monkey. Hey, G. You a monkey? Look at your mama. Look at your mama. Mama, mama, mama. Mama, mama, mama. 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 <laughs> I am just about ready. I'm gonna put on some orange essential oil as my perfume. Fun fact, I actually don't wear perfume, so I like to use essential oils to smell nice. And oranges smell amazing. I also like using, oh, you know what? I have vanilla essential oil, which I always forget. I'm gonna do a little orange and vanilla combo. And I just put it behind my ears and I'll smell like a little orange creamsicle. <laughs> 
And then for lipstick, I have, I just put on my, my lip butter from Beauty Net Skincare. And then this is the color Mascarpone from Bite Beauty. I think this color is discontinued, but this is, they might have something similar. This is what it looks like. It's very pigmented, so I'm just gonna dab it in. I kind of use it as a lip stain. And I just think it's like the prettiest color. But I love Bright Beauty's lipsticks are really nice. Okay, so yeah, this is my outfit. Don't mind the messy bed. My sister is actually, she's amazing. She's going to pick up her boyfriend. And she's like, I can swing by for a quick family Thanksgiving photo if you are guys are ready, which we are. So I'm just waiting for her to come by and I think I'm gonna give her the soup so that we can just walk over, and not have to worry about hot soup in the stroller. Doesn't she look so cute? Chloe's so here. Cute. Hi. See Cash's bandana? Yeah, it's adorable. Can I see your bandana? Oh, that's so pretty. We're gonna take our Thanksgiving photo. See you. See you. I think we got it. <laughs> Bless you. Okay, we're off. Cashew's ready. I can't decide if this looks weird or cute, but this is what's happening. Wait, this is a drink station. I'm eating. today I'm like sweating especially with her on me okay we're gonna go get diaper change I am gonna go pee get a snack refuel I've just been here for like almost an hour while she's been sleeping and now she's bugging cashew look at this I have to say it's so weird like it's so surreal being here with everyone because this is the First, I don't even think I mentioned this is the first time all my family is coming together in two years. Like some family hasn't even met Sage and just, it's just crazy. So it just, it feels normal. Oh, it feels, look at this girl. <laughs> it feels normal, but weird at the same time. Right? See all your cousins? Yeah. This used to be my old room and now it's Tia Chloe's. Oh, okay, should we go say hi to everyone again? Yeah, go mingle while we can. Okay, and yeah, I'm so sweaty. <laughs> Uh, we are just getting Sagey down for bed. I just uh, breastfed her. Matt is reading her a book. Usually we'll try to tag team. Uh, one, one may start and the other one will finish or, I mean, I always kind of have to be involved 
in some capacity since I always want to breastfeed her before she goes down and then I pump before I go to bed. But anyways, this is not a breastfeeding video. Uh, we are putting her down for bed. She's definitely tired. She ended up doing, I think I, I vlogged it. She ended up doing a 45 minute nap on me, which was great. Shorter than like what her normal nap would be, but she had a good nap. I just like went to my sister's room and like just it was nice and quiet and she was able to like just settle down and sleep, which was nice because nobody wants a screaming baby at the dinner table. And it was just like so nice to see everyone. Like I said, it kind of felt surreal like being with all the family again. And it's crazy because like you still feel like you're doing something wrong. You're like, oh, like is this allowed? Are we allowed to like celebrate it and, and enjoy this time and stuff? It just feels weird to like be around people and stuff still. Like it's just, and I hate that, that that's like ingrained into us right now. But regardless, it was really, really nice. And we get to see our family again in a couple of weeks for Sage's first birthday, which is exciting. So. I'm probably gonna vlog some stuff for that. I mean, most likely. Um, I'm just still in the process of like planning it and stuff like that, so um, definitely stay tuned for that. But I am just ending the vlog because I'm actually, I'm crazy. <laughs> you think like I could, I would just relax now, but I'm gonna recipe test some things for my secret project that I've been working on. Make sure you're following me on Instagram. If you aren't, I share a lot of sneak peek teasers on there of what I'm working on but it has to do with food and I'm very excited so I'm just like when I get passionate and excited about something I just want to work on it and get it done so I'm just been like putting in the hours and stuff and I have a certain like deadline in my mind which I may not make it but I want to like be around that time so I'm just trying to get like the recipe testing out of the way and the recipe writing and then um, then I can actually do like photos and stuff like that. So there's just like, even for like small projects, there's just a lot of moving pieces. So I'm just trying to like do a little bit each day. I'm like tired, but also like not ready for the day to end. So, and tomorrow is technically a Monday, like a day off. Cause it's a Monday of a long weekend, but I am using it as an extra work day. Cause I have a small day surgery on Tuesday, which it's, it's like n nothing big. I just have a cyst on my hip that I'm getting removed. So not fun, but also like nothing serious. But I may just have a little bit of downtime. So tomorrow I'm planning on just like filming all day. And that way Tuesday I can just relax. So clearly I'm energized because I'm talking a mile a minute and this is the longest outro ever. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these family style vlogs, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you aren't already, click that red subscribe button down below and guess, leave a comment down below. Guess what you think the secret project is. I feel like I've been giving a lot of hints, but I feel like some people, a lot of people still don't know what it is. So give me your best hint or guess down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Subscribe, I post here every single week. Wednesday, Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. I love you, virtual hugs. And you know what's the best about having Canadian Thanksgiving is you get to re-experience it in like a month for the American Thanksgiving. That's the best. More stuffing, gravy, mashed potatoes. I'm here for it, okay? Mwah. Love you guys. Sorry for the long outro. I'm off to go recipe test. Bye. Oh, Matt. That's all the cameo Matt is giving right now. <laughs> Just likes. Okay. Mwah. Love you guys.